So my name is Heather Grisbeck and I'm the garden curator here at the Morikami Museum and Japanese Garden. My favorite part of Rojian, you know it's changed over the years, which is kind of funny. Um, I've always really loved the modern garden just because um, maybe it's more comfortable to what I kind of grew up with, with some of the Western influence in the garden, um, in the Japanese garden, probably the most contemporary. But um, over the years, it's changed. I think for me at this point, um, my favorite garden is the Paradise Garden. I think that the story behind uh, the Paradise Garden, um, kind of in, in history, and also uh, the designer of the garden, Hoichi Kurisu's use of the cypress and why Rojien is called Rojien, or the Garden of the Drops of Dew. And a little piece of that history is that when Hoichi Kurisu, uh, designer of Rojien, um, was designing the garden, he was doing a lot of trips back and forth on Alligator Alley, which is a strip that goes across the state, um, and there's quite a lot of the native cypress, pond cypress trees. And he, of course, would travel these um, this uh, area very, very early in the morning, and what he found um, that he was extremely appreciative of was the small bits of dew and drops that uh, accumulate on the cypress leaves, which made them kind of glisten. Um, so Roji N is called the Garden of the Drops of Dew. You know, there's so many spots that um, entice everybody or speaks to everybody for some reason or another. Um, it's hard to really say because each visitor comes with their own feeling. Um, but I think one of my favorite spots really is um, the, uh, the late rock garden, just because it is so synonymous, especially in pop culture right now, Zen gardens and, and how people are trying to mimic those, you know, even maybe in their own landscapes um, to a small desk, you know, Karen Sensui garden. Um, but I think I like that spot just because it really is devoid of plants and, you know, doesn't really give a lot of um, it doesn't have a big wow factor in as far as like visual stimulation but that's kind of the point to kind of be devoid of all of that stimulation so you can really use this space as a more meditational and contemplation space different people come for different reasons um, you know you've got your folks that like to come when it's the most floral um, Japanese gardens aren't typically known for big, bold, colorful flowers. However, our most floral time of year, from January to March, that's when our azaleas are blooming. Um, our yesterday, today, and tomorrows. You also see our uh, calyandras, they'll be blooming. Um, so that's the most floral part. But uh, in the summer, it's a lot more textures and colors of green. So you can really get that relaxation mode with, with the green kind of being that kind of healing and fresh color. My favorite plant or flower? Um, I think it depends. My favorite plant, I would definitely say, is the ligustrum. Our ligustrums um, have that kind of signature um, style as far as uh, Japanese pruning that's got that nice cloud formation nice thick layers um, with the trunk able to you know come up to your wonderful apex with all your different branches and taking all of their space typically in a Japanese garden it's one staff per acre we have 16 acres and we by no means unfortunately have 16 staff um, we personally, um, here on property, we manage with five garden staff and then um, the Kurisu contract lends us three um, expert Japanese pruners. Well, the garden path is about uh, a mile around. Um, you know, some people come and, and kind of just like race through it. Um, maybe they have other things to do. Maybe they want to make sure they, you know, get into the, the museum and see our wonderful exhibitions and uh, maybe have something at the cafe. But to really enjoy the garden at a, at a nice pace, um, as far as for a good spiritual renewal and uh, those kind of aspects, I'd say a good hour, hour and a half. 
I hope everybody is staying well. Um, the Roji N here misses you. We miss you. Um, it's fabulous to have such a wonderful garden for healing purposes and we hope to see you soon so that you can utilize our wonderful garden 